I'm Scott Sullivan. I'm the project director on Codling here. Currently, the stage of the project, we were successful in OLRES back in, in June. We're in our consent application period and we're due to submit our consent application shortly. So for me personally, Codling is a great challenge. It's great to be supporting Ireland in meeting its energy targets and also in general the overall climate change goals and ambitions of Ireland. Codling Wind Park is a 1.3 gigawatt project, equals about 1 million Irish homes. 1 million Irish homes will be supplied by clean energy. Codling will also support the energy security in Ireland. It will enable the country to not import as much energy from external sources and it also will displace 1.7 million tonnes of carbon. Well, Codling Wind Park's been around for, for quite a long time, originally being identified in 1999 by one of our shareholders, Fred Olson. And in 2020, EDF Renewables bought into the project and since then the development has really ramped up. So offshore wind is a really established technology now. It's, it's been on the go in the UK and other areas for the last decade and a half. And in Ireland, obviously the sea area is much greater than the landmass, therefore the opportunity for offshore wind in Ireland is very substantial. So my name is Ireland Christensen. I'm from Wicklow Town. I'm from Wicklow, as I said. I was brought up there, was born and raised. And then I went on and studied engineering in the National University of Ireland in, in Galway. Been working on the project for maybe just over three and a half years. Or, or um, Codling Wind Park as a project will be the biggest contributor to achieving Ireland's offshore renewable energy targets for 2030. So, do you know, that's a, it's a very strategic, it's a national key project, so that makes me very proud you know, to have it here in our neighbourhood. I work in a very experienced team. It's an international team. We have a team, we have an Irish team, we have a UK team, we have people from all over Europe. And it's great to be working in this team to achieve these targets. That makes me very proud.